In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the rate calculation for the enzyme activity lab. The rate is actually the amount of oxygen that's going to be produced per second. So the units for this particular calculation are going to be milliliters per second. Now we're going to start with the 2 degree. If we look at the graph, we notice that the graph is fairly consistent in its upward slope. So we're going to go ahead and calculate the rate for the entire set of data. So here's how we do that. Click your mouse underneath the column of data. Make sure it's not in one of your data points. Go up and find the FX button, which is the Insert Function button. Click on it, and then you'll see a window here, and you'll want to select a category here. So you'll pick on the drop-down, go down to Statistical, and then scroll down until you get to Slope then click on slope, then click on OK. Now you're ready to go and you're going to choose your data points or your data set now. So for your Y data, that's going to be the milliliters of oxygen produced. So there's a text line here, but you can click on this little button at the end of the text line, go over to your data, click and drag and select all your data. Then on this win the new window here at the right side, there's another little button, click on it. Then you repeat that for the X data, which is time. So click the button, go over and select all the X data, click the button again, and then click OK. And there's your rate value. Now, if you look at the line for the 40 degree environment, notice that it increases rapidly early on, and then it begins to level off. So with that particular situation, we want to calculate two different rates. So we're going to calculate what we call the initial rate, or the early rate of the reaction, where it's the fastest, which is basically between 0 and about 60 seconds. Then we'll also calculate the overall rate of the reaction, which includes the entire data set. So let's start with the initial rate, or the fastest part of the reaction. So click on a cell underneath your data. Go ahead and click F of X for insert function. You'll go to Statistical again, scroll down to Slope, click on OK. What's different now is we are going to choose different data. So since we're only concerned with data all the way from 0 to 60 seconds, we're only going to select that data for the Y set and for the X set. So click on your little button, go over to your Y data, and we'll just select the first three data points, which is the first 60 seconds of the reaction. Click on the little button, and we'll go back to our box here, our window. Click the little button. Select only 0 to 60 for the time. Click the button, and then click OK. That gives us our initial rate of reaction, which is for the first 60 seconds. Now, if we want to do the overall rate of reaction, we just do the exact same thing we did with the 2 degrees. We click on a cell, an empty cell. Click on the Function button. We find Slope under Statistical. And we just go ahead and select our data again. Except this time we're going to select the entire data set. Okay, and there you have it. 